Hi, my name is Patrick. Uh, this video is to tell you how to prepare for CAT 2024 if you're starting your preparation from December 23. So one year left. So one year, how to prepare for CAT in one year. So we do have courses for CAT, GMAT, the examinations. Uh, so let's start with steps to prepare. So first, talk to the students who are prepared for CAT already. Okay, so that you have some idea because they have done some mistakes. They know how to go about it, plan it. So try to talk to students who have already given the exam so that you have a fair idea as to what mistakes, where to focus on, how to go about it. I'm talking about students because they've gone through this experience of learning. It becomes a better to talk to them because they can also relate to you and you can relate to them. Write a mock post so that you understand the paper pattern. The mocks will be tough, but just starting your preparation and CAT is supposed to be tough. So write a mock so you have a fair idea of the paper and then maybe you note the different type of questions that come in the exam and accordingly plan the paper. Identify study material, what material is good, what material is not good. So identify the study material and then try to go about it. And identify your strong and weak areas. So which are the areas you are strong at, which are the areas you are weak at. So I can identify those areas and plan because you should I really focus on your weak areas when you prepare it. There are sectional cutoffs. That means you need to clear the sectional cutoffs. And sectional cutoffs of weaker area will be more difficult to you know, take. So that means focus on your weak area while preparing. Make a plan for the first stage of preparation. The syllabus. So when you plan to complete your syllabus, make a plan for it. So you want to write a test. There is an aptitude test that helps you to understand general how MD entrance exams are, which is a one hour test, prepper.com. Or if you want to write a proper mock test, you can go to this and try to write a mock test. Now, broad plan is the first stage is you should complete the syllabus. So I'm giving five months time approximately to complete the syllabus. So try to complete the syllabus in five months time. Once you complete the syllabus, then do a revision in two months time. Okay. And then finally practice plus mocks for the remaining months which are left. So we will first focus on completing the syllabus, what you need to do. So first focus on that, how to plan, how to time frame, etc. So verbal reading is sufficient, one hour a day more or less sufficient. Maybe you can read something that you enjoy reading, that's one, any novels, magazine, etc. Or you can read editorials of newspapers. Okay, if you already are reading novels, magazine, you can read editorials of newspapers for now. So focus on these two things for now, Okay, reading what you enjoy, because you need to create a good habit of reading. And reading what you enjoy reading will always help to you to create a good habit. You can do verbal exercises, not necessarily very frankly, because CAT focuses so much on reading. Reading becomes most important. That's all you can do later. Again, vocabulary you can do if you feel that it hampers your reading. Lack of vocabulary, specifically students from monocular medium, if they find that oh, lack of vocabulary is affecting your reading, then you can do vocabulary. Else, spend most of your time in focusing on reading. Next con, I mean complete syllabus in five months, which is one fifty days. So prepare for two hours a day. I mean go to both theory and solve sums. So first go to theory, focus on sums. The focus has to be to understand the fundamentals and try and get better methods. So you solve a particular method or the book has given you a method. Try to see how you can get a better method to solve. If you can look at videos, normally when we give out videos, we normally try to tell students of better methods to solve. You can focus on those method, better methods to work. I have given a rough plan for this 150 days. I have focused more on algebra, equations, etc. Because what has happened is in the last couple of years, algebra has become a little more weighted. So it makes sense to focus a little bit more equation, inequalities, functions, etc. Okay. Arithmetic also is important. I mean, arithmetic and algebra have become very important. Of late, modern maths and uh, geometry has little less weightage, but still, try to understand everything and prepare accordingly. I am giving you days, I mean for example if I take average is 7 days, maybe one day you can focus on going to theory, rest 6 days focus on practicing sums, the more you practice sums the better it is, that's how it is. We are approximately 1 hour a day, so one from, or from that 150 days, 125 days focus on understanding different types of DI and logic sets, in last 25 days practice mix sums because in the exam what comes is mix sums, so focus on practicing mix sums. So when you say 125 days, I have given a breakup. So 48 days of LR and 77 days of logic. So try to solve different type of questions. So we are familiar with different type of you know sets that come in. 
and then last 25 days focus on practicing mixed type of sums maybe from the mock papers from the past cat papers try to solve so that you get understand what type of questions that come in the cat exam right so again here the focus is practice there's not much of theory just pick up sets and try to be comfortable with different type of questions so more you practice the more you become comfortable the better it is now what is important is plan make a proper plan for your preparation okay keep short term targets so make a daily plan that becomes very important apart from making a normal syllabus completion plan monthly plan weekly plan the daily plan becomes more important what are you going to do next day to today and then see how are you following it are you following or not and then accordingly modify your plan so make a proper daily plan write down your daily plans without writing down the plan doesn't work so ensure that you write down your daily plan properly right and keep track of how much you are preparing daily so you can accordingly modify your preparation writing down plans helps you to you know keep up to your you know plan auto i hope this helps uh, if you're interested you can subscribe to the channel we'll come up with more videos that will help you prepare for cat 24 right thank you